So the next question says, assume that a hypothetical economy with a marginal propensity to consume of 0.9 is experiencing a severe recession. By how much would government spending have to rise to shift the aggregate demand curve rightward by $50 billion? So what we're really being tested on here is uh, the uh, multiplier effect for government spending. And so we're giving the multiplier effect by the equation 1 divided by 1 minus MPC, or 1 divided by MPS, marginal propensity to save. So we have 1 divided by 1 minus MPC equals 1 divided by MPS is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.9, and that gives us 10. Right? That's the multiplier. And what that multiplier tells us is that for every dollar that government spends, the aggregate demand curve overall in the economy is going to shift rightward by $10. And so if our purpose, if our goal is to shift the aggregate demand curve rightward by $50 billion through government spending, then we know that we would only have to spend $5 billion to get 10 times that or $50 billion of increase in aggregate demand. So the correct answer for the first uh, portion of this question is going to be $5 billion. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense uh, about how we got to that answer. The next question says, how large of a tax cut would be needed to achieve the same increase in aggregate demand? And so this question uh, is going to be given by uh, the tax multiplier. And the tax multiplier is given by a slightly different equation. It's MPC divided by 1 minus MPC. So 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.1 or 9. Right? And so, in this case, if we wanted to achieve the same increase in aggregate demand, we know that for every dollar uh, that we decrease taxes, there's going to be a $9 increase in aggregate demand. So 50, uh, for a $50 billion increase in aggregate demand, we would need uh, 50 divided by 9 whoops, is equal to... $5.55 billion, and that's how much we need to decrease taxes by. And so, um, the next question says, determine one possible combination of government spending increases and tax decreases that accomplish the same goal. And so we want to increase spending by uh, X billion dollars and increase taxes by X billion dollars. And so uh, one way to think about this is if we match uh, spending to government uh, to tax increases, we can take advantage of this decrease in the uh, this difference in the multiplier in order to uh, get the right answer, right? And so we know that for every dollar that uh, we uh, for every dollar that in, that we uh, decrease in tax uh, cuts, right? we would uh, see a $9 decrease, sorry, for every dollar we increase taxes, we would see a $9 decrease in aggregate demand. But if we were to use that dollar uh, through some other form of government spending, then we would see a $10 increase in aggregate demand. So a total increase uh, for that one exchange where we increase taxes by $1 and we decrease, uh, sorry, and we increase spending by $1 is gonna be a $1 increase in aggregate demand. So if we want $50 billion of aggregate demand uh, to be uh, increased by, then we need to increase uh, taxes and spending by $50 billion. We can see this with the following. So let's say we increase government uh, spending by $50 billion. That means the total effect on aggregate demand is going to be 10 times that, because we have a multiplier of 10 times for government spending, for a total increase in the aggregate demand by $500 billion, right? And then, let's say we offset this $50 billion increase in spending with a $50 billion increase in taxes. And so, a $50 billion increase in taxes is going to give us a negative, and this multiplier is negative, we're going to give us a negative uh, effect on the aggregate demand curve, right? Because by increasing taxes, you're taking money away from people and they can spend less. And so we can see that this increase in $50 billion taxes is going to lead to a 
billion dollar decrease in aggregate demand. So we've increased aggregate demand by 500 billion we've, uh, through our spending, and we've decreased aggregate demand by 450 billion through our tax increase. And that gives us a total increase of $50 billion in aggregate demand, and that was our end goal. And so we can see here with that offsetting way, we can uh, use a combination of government spending increases and tax increases to accomplish the same goal as uh, increasing the uh, demand by $50 billion. So um, that's going to be the correct answer here. Let's take a look at the previous student's answer. So they say, assume that a hypothetical economy of an MPC of 0.8 so it looks like this is a this tutor answered a slightly different question because the question we have is a 0.9 and it looks like they answered 0.8 for some reason. So and they also want to shift to the aggregate demand curve right by 30 billion instead of 50 billion. So let's just uh, check the process. So they got 25 billion, they got 6.25 billion, and they have 26 billion here. Let's take a look at their answers, uh, their their work. So for their work, they calculated the multiplier rate of spending given by 1 divided by 1 minus MPC. That's the same thing we did. And they get a multiplier of 5. And they say that if you want to increase aggregate demand to buy $30 billion, then you need uh, 30 divided by 5 multiplier $6 billion increase in spending. And that's the same process we had. We said we wanted to increase demand by $50 billion. We want to divide it by our multiplier. 50 divided by 10 gives us $5 billion in spending. So uh, we're on the same page there. Two, they calculate a tax multiplier like we did. And they say MPC divided by 1 minus MPC, same equation. 0.8 divided by 0.2 is equal to 4. So they got 4, we got 9. And they said the tax cut should be 30 divided by 4 is equal to 7.5 billion. For us, it would be 50 divided by 9, and that's 5.55 billion, right? That's uh, all set for us. And finally, to get the combination that would get us to 50 billion, they did 1 minus 1 minus, M so they did multiplier uh, for. Uh, the, they did a, the spending multiplier minus the tax multiplier gives them one. Uh, our spending mu multiplier minus the tax multiplier also gives us one. The answer is an increase in spending in $30 billion and the increase in taxes at $30 billion. Spending will increase income by 30 times 5, so 150 for that's 50 times 10. And a tax increase will reduce income by 30 times 4. For us, that's 50 times 9. In sum, the income will increase by $30 billion. For us, it was $50 billion. So the work is the same. We're just going to write a... Uh, kind of right answer here because the previous tutor answered the incorrect question. So uh, looks like the previous tutor answered a question with slightly different numbers. Uh, for A, we would say that 1 divided by 1 minus MPC is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to 10. And that's the spending multiplier. Uh, for a $50 billion increase in AD, we would need a 50 divided by 10 equals $5 billion increase in government spending. And choice B says tax multiplier is equal to MPC divided by 1 minus MPC is equal to 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to 9. Uh, for a $50 billion increase in aggregate demand, we would need a 50 divided by 9 equals 0 5.55 billion dollar decrease in taxes. And C says spending multiplier minus tax multiplier equal to 10 minus 9 equal to 1 uh, for a $50 billion increase in AD we would need a 50 divided by 1 equals $50 billion increase in, in spending funded by a $50 billion tax increase. And that's going to be the, the correct answer for this question with the correct numbers. And so we're going to mark the solution as incorrect just because they have the wrong numbers. And uh, we'll, we'll submit this for uh, an alternative solution.